Hey guys, it's Moto Stories Lucky Phil, and we're coming to you from the American Motorcycle Association's Vintage Motorcycle Days. This is the largest motorcycle swap meet on the face of the planet Earth, and it's motorcycle racing all weekend long. Anything you want, motocross, road racing, trials, everything, hair scrambles, barrel racing for the idiots. It's got anything you'd ever want, and it's out of control. There's really no rules. It's bonkers. And it's encouraged. Like, the more silly you get, people are applauding. And I just dumped a, I just dumped a brand new Honda uh, Hunter Cub over here, and I just got applause because I'm trying to wheelie it, you know? It's loads of fun. It's so much fun. It's crazy how much fun you can have for, like, no, almost no money. And then, like... Okay, apparently I've got hospitality or hospitality. There's media credentials involved. We are just enjoying the hell out of this place. Get together, figure it out. If you've never been to this thing before, you gotta come out here. If you like motorcycles, everybody's here. Um, Pentons are here. Uh, there, this whole thing is based on On Any Sunday, which is 50th anniversary this year. Um, Skidmark Garage is here. They're doing a whole setup, a whole training. They've they got a whole garage built down in the pits. Anything you'd ever want. Vintage bikes from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and everything. And 90% of the stuff you're going to see is for sale, or they brought it to ride around. Because the place is gigantic. Tons of square miles. But you just can't walk it. So people bring bikes out. They throw a piece of paper on the front that says, you know, 1800 or best offer. Because if somebody pays it, that's great. They'll go to the next aisle over and buy two. This is a blast. And again, shenanigans are strongly encouraged. We're 200 feet away from a corner that I'm pretty sure is going to be on fire later on. Because these guys have a tendency to overdo it. Going to do it. Overdo it. And the guys from Kentucky and the guys from Louisville just tear the hell out of it every single year. You guys, you got to be down here. If you're not, you're missing out. And we're going to keep giving some feeds because there is so much happening here that we're going to be covering. The Motorcycles and Misfits folks are here from Santa Cruz. This is getting weird every year. Bigger and better and just honestly dumber. So can't mess around with that. And yeah, you know, motorcycles every damn where. So ride fast and take chances.
Solid, pretty solid. You like a camera right in your fucking face? Sometimes I do. All right. What follows? Depend, if I'm making my like vinegar strokes face, like. <laughs> <laughs> what 
So, zero out of five stars. What do you recommend Mid Ohio is? Five stars. Five stars. You got to be in it to win it, though. Can't be no geek off the street. You got to know what you're doing, right? You got to know how to handle your heat. <laughs> So, do you, any listeners or any watchers of Motor Stories, which we're going to get you into a Motor Story soon. Are you coming up for a Motor Story? I've got one for you guys. All right. So, we're going to yeah. do that soon. But this is a little recap of the weekend. So, anybody that watches this know we want to be here. What do you what, what is your, what do you tell people that have not been here that you want to come? Bring any small, stupid thing that has two wheels and a motor that you can ride around. Do not be a walker. And don't get golf carts. Fuck golf cart. People. And what are those other things called? Fucking, what are those big fucking motory? Yeah, fuck side by side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck golf carts. Yeah, yeah. It's mid Ohio vintage days for motorcycles. Right. Ride a fucking motorcycle. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, sir. Or anything with two wheels. Moped, so, motorcycle. So give them a okay. teaser. So what do we have you on? You're Dan from Cincinnati that also runs and operates what? Uh, we run a small little personal garage that we do uh, work on. Uh, vintage scooters at. Uh, what is it called? Because it's really cool. Vulcan Scooter Garage. You can find me on Facebook or Instagram if you look up Vulcan Scooter Dan. And also uh, on OnlyFans, where? Well, right. <laughs> well, also Vulcan Scooter Dan. <laughs> Look at all these fucking guys at Mid Ohio. So, what, what do you got to say? How many times you been here? What? Once. And what are your thoughts? It's. It's motorcycle burning, man. This is Mecca. This is our this is our place and our people, right? This, is, this will be our yearly pilgrimage. So, if you had to say one out of ten, how many stars would you give it? I mean, six, seven, eleven, twelve. What? I mean, it, this is everything to all people who are not concerned about being precious. Right? Yeah. Solid nines. <laughs> <laughs> now, so as brothers all the stars. As brothers that have experienced a lot together over your life, you're all twenty three years old now at the time, right? Or something near there? I'm almost forty. I'm fifty, so you guys are babies. <laughs> so at twenty three years old you've experienced a lot. How does this compare to most shit you've done? Twenty three. We're neither of us are near twenty three. Okay, I was trying to be nice, but go ahead and roll with that. Um, I mean the 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 MotoGP campgrounds are great on a really prestigious level of stupid. Yeah. On the bargain level of stupid, where the rest of us live, this is the the this is this past deep culture. This is past the legal limit of fun. Yeah. This is past the legal limit of fun. There are things happening here that you would think I should probably call the police, but no. Just gonna roll with it. Just gonna roll with it. I, I don't know how to explain to people how the the freedom here, like we the we, front gate is a time for. We used to describe MotoGP camping as a pre 9/11 level of fun. Yeah. This is kind of like pre Reagan levels of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a time that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. So if you want to come to a place where you can really truly let your your freak flag fly, where you can do things like take a Vespa 150, barrel race it, wheelie, wheelie all day. And everyone you meet is absolutely overjoyed that you're doing it. Yeah. If you want to destroy tires and be celebrated for it, if you want to put yourself in what frankly is a, a very large amount of risk and be a hero, I, you know, for, for, for a 50% buy-in value of what it used to take, to be that kind of hero, like doing 12 o'clock 12 o'clock wheelies on your Jixxer 600 on the street. <laughs> you can attain that here for a couple beers worth of courage. Yes. And, I mean, uh, of course, see all the classic bikes you want, see all the racing you want, see... No, but you guys got it. You guys got what we've been talking about for fucking ever. You guys got it. And you're oh, here and you're coming back. It took a couple days to settle in. Yeah. But I'm... 
I, th I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. You guys are 100%. I can confirm that you guys nailed it. You guys did well. Did well. <laughs>